No, nah, not really. Bam Bambo it should never be playing heroes that need to farm. Never. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, th he does not hit creeps. It doesn't matter what hero, hero he plays, unless he's like, you know, forced to play carry, then obviously he'll be farming. But if it's possible to find kills instead of farming, he'll 100% go for hero kills. I, I still remember our official match days. He played mid for us uh, for some time, and I don't think I've ever seen him break 100 CS as a mid player. Hellraisers turn to battle. In the game, yes. Team Secrets turn to ban. Yeah, this is such an annoying hero to deal with, and especially since Team Secret, they just they have so many Ten different brood players. Remaining. Well, I say so many different players, but it's just basically Ace as well as Five DK Phobos. Both of them can play it. I'm sure if Mid One wanted to, he would play it, but I don't think it's his type of hero. I think the last hero pick is most likely going to be Mid One's hero. Uh, Ace and DK Phobos can kind of switch in between. I think both of them can. Both play Brew as well as Brood Mother, mother so. Turn to pick. Ten uh, I don't think remaining. so. I, I think they're probably going to go with something more carry-oriented. Oriented. Uh, right now, they're kind of lacking the right-click damage. Gonna have to see what they give him. Mm. I think the vo the the counter initiation for Void is already there. You have a Bane as well as a a Brew Mother a Brood Master a Brew Master. I think the Bane is fine. The Brew and the Brood are kind of throwing me off right now. Oh, yeah. Well, they're taking their time, trying, probably deciding between a couple of heroes right now. See what they end up going for. Mm, I don't really know what would be good here, actually. Hellraisers, turn to There's nothing that really stands out. Puck? Eh. Puck. Eh. This TA? Interesting. I think TA is it's okay, but I, I I like to see them have a little more range right now. Ten seconds remaining. TA, while she is ranged, not exactly the greatest of range. Five seconds Even something remaining. like Queen of Pain might be a little better. Okay. Doesn't Quap normally struggle against Puck, though? She does, but it's, it's not like a, a lane where you just get stomped to the point where you can't get anything out of lane. You can still get your get a get a bit of farm, get a bit of levels, and then, uh, you know, once everyone has levels and you have a decent amount of setup, you have an Earthshaker who can fissure from afar from you for you, as well as a Faceless Void who can set you up, so you have something for the Chronosphere. All right. Well, we'll see if they end up going for it. It, it does sort of put them in an awkward position. I guess that they also could just take another support here and put Veno as like. You know, mid with Bambo Shaker and then Faceless Void in safe lane. Yeah, I can kind of see that. But what would you take? Yeah, I think if, I think if you ran that, maybe you can play. Well, I say maybe you can play, but you shouldn't really ever play greedily. And they are going to go for the TA, like you said, very uh, standard matchup. All right. And wait, this is an <laughs> off lane Void. <laughs> You don't like it? <laughs> I mean, don't, don't channel the flame to Bulba. Don't, don't, don't expect they farm void. <laughs> uh, I mean, if it's Bambo playing it, he better be buying a scepter because he's supposed to be looking for kills in that case. Maybe okay. he's changed his ways. I mean, it has been a, quite a while since I last played with him, but yeah. from memory, that is uh, what I can remember. All right. Well, 
We'll have to see how it goes for them. Now, Hellraisers versus Team Secret. Game number one of this playoffs. Loser is going to have to exit the qualifiers. Winner moves on to face the winner of OG versus Mouse, which is happening right now as well. Should be a pretty good game. And oftentimes we've seen Brood just take over a, a game entirely. Do you think this is one of those games? Do they have any answers for the Brood? You, I think you do have an answer, but... It's going to be, like, some really weird laning. I think, like, the only person who's going to do okay against the Brood is an Earthshaker. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's going to be the case here, right? I, I don't... Do you know who the support players for Hellraiser are? It's, it's Milan, It's right? Milan. Milan's the uh, support. He's the position four. And then you have, uh... You and have... A4 is the five. Yeah. yeah. Um, 3-3 three, three. used to be their offlane player, but now he's switched over to position one. It's uh, gonna be tough to deal with the Broodmother. I don't think any of them really can. You can definitely gank her later on, but in terms of just the laning phase, it's not exactly gonna be easy. Yeah. But the, the oh, nice thing oh, Milan. <laughs> you see that? Oh, the observer ward. Yeah. To block. Well. Oh, is he blocking it? I thought that he just wanted to place it up on the high ground. All right, I was going to say, like, all right, that's bad. But no, he, he did it to block. Thank you, Steven. This is why we keep you here, because you know what the hell you're talking about, and I don't have any idea. I mean, you, you still might be right. I'm pretty sure you can't put it on the high ground and block, though. I think that corner doesn't count. Okay, fair enough. But uh, that is one of the, one of the uh, better blocking spots. It's very difficult. Sometimes it's very difficult to find, because you have to basically stand on the edge in order to see it if you have a sentry in range. Otherwise, you're just going to be like, well, I guess there's no observer here. Yeah. Yeah, very clearly he placed that there on purpose. I'm just a, a tard, so... Um, we're going to move on now. It's going to be a nice little placement out now soon by Puppy. I'm sure he's going to get a ward down as well. It's mid one who's heading up top with Ace in the mid lane. Do you think they had like a little bit of a, an argument about who gets to play Brood at all, him and Phobos? No. Okay. Why would there be an argument? I don't know. DK Phobos is the stand-in. He's whatever they say, you do. That's what a stand-in <laughs> does. <laughs> I wonder if we are going to start seeing some more stand-ins this time around. Like you can sort of loan out your one of your good players to a team and try and uh, you know get them to get to a place. Uh oh, almost got hit twice there by that orb. Bambo taking some damage. Oh, he has no time walk either. Oh, Bambo. Now, oh, mid lane, there's also some action going on. Kaiser's going to be forced back, but Bambo is forced into the trees. Gale bottom. They've also got the cold feet on Phobos. Is he going to end up getting the catch? Oh, block Very off. Nice block. But is he going to go down? Barely alive. He's going to live for a moment. He's still taking that last tick. It's not going to be enough. Salve up. Phobos did the math. Very nicely done. Surprised he took Drunken Haze at level 1. I guess it's uh, better than the Drunken Brawler in terms of overall survivability. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, just to try and harass and mess with 3-3's last hitting, you know, causes some, some problems. Oh. So yeah, Fissure? just block. Yep, sort. It is going to be a pushback, but nothing else. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, this uh, block is helping out Bambo so much now, though. They, they're, they're not dewarding it, so he's actually able to get levels since Puppy doesn't have anything to pull to. But he has to be a little careful right. here. Yeah. I'll be able to back out again. And Bane is really good at being able to trade, obviously, but with Bambo... Uh, you know, having that ward blocked off as well. Meanwhile, Kaiser and Ace, they're sort of battling out in the mid lane. So far, it's relatively even. As levels start to get up, do you feel like this becomes more and more of a problem? As Bambo actually might be dead. He doesn't have time walk again. He's going to be able to get out of there. Just barely. Yeah, he's gonna no him. orb. But, uh, yeah, the Broodmother, as, she, as Broodmother gets levels, I mean, this... What is this TA going to do, right? You can't exactly expect to Psyblade every single brood, broodling. Yeah. 
Yes. So it's definitely going to be an issue here. It does look like she's sort of randomly getting a couple of them, though. If you just like keep on throwing out Psyblades every now and then, you might find a couple, depending upon how good the Aces control is. As we miss First Blood, down here in the bottom lane, DK Phobos just squares up and takes him down. Very nicely done. Kind of surprising that he did it without the Thunderclap, too. Yeah. Meanwhile, the stacks will come from Hellraisers. Kaiser going to take out both of these in short order, I would imagine, while Broodmother is just going to keep on farming the mid lane. Yeah, it's kind of already reached that point where Kaiser is uh, not going to have a good time in this mid lane, but they did stack for him at least. Yeah. Alan. Nice done coming through. DK Phobos in a bit of trouble. Is the Cold Feet going to proc before the TP? No. Very nicely done. He TP'd he immediately there. after that, that <laughs> fissure. He knew. He knew he wasn't going to be able to live through that one. The big thing I'm watching, though, is that like with TA heading back to the jungle, there's obviously nothing that she can do to really stop this type of pressure, but it's going to be a lot of damage out there early, and she's actually going to try and take away these camps as well. So Ace farming up the enemy camps... Um, yeah, this is a problem. Milan maybe could go for some type of a fissure play, but he sees that those camps got taken, and not really a whole lot you can do against that. And Team Secret already building up a decent lead, four Dyer's minutes in. Yeah. This is reminiscent of some of those other Brood games, where I don't remember who it exactly was that they were playing against, but it was a thousand gold lead a minute. This is a little bit less than that, but still... Showing why this Broodmother can be such a painful pick to play against. And likewise, DK Phobos just trying to put the hurt in a little bit onto 3 3 and J4. The Absor is coming in. But they won't try and go. Too scary. Oh, Ace, they know he's coming in. They try and go for this. A couple of Spiderlings going to be going the way of Kaiser. Not bad. Oh, he's getting a couple more. That's a lot of gold. All right, so apparently it is okay if you have an Earthshaker there to help you out. This is some Ferrari stuff right here. <laughs> Back to the old days of TA Broodmother. Oh, oh there's the dust. If that would have come a second, or if they, it looked like they weren't quite on the same page. How does Yapsor find so much farm? He's, he's just like standing here, but he still has so much CS and uh, J4 gets singled out by Yapsor. Is he yep, gonna be able to know where to go? Down? Wait. Oh. Ooh, okay, all right. Yapsor in trouble now. He's gonna get chased down and killed off. 3-3 finds the kill and DK Phobos not gonna be able to finish off J4. I was a little bit of worried for J4 there. I thought the uh, Venomancer ward was actually gonna block him, <laughs> but the card uh -huh. is not lasting that long. No. Well, while that happens, Brood is still going to keep on farming out the jungle of the TA. Maybe she could think about going to stack Ancients or something. Um, but honestly, Brood might even be able to farm those before TA can. I don't know. Yeah, definitely. Especially with the medallion. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Ace is spotted out here, though. And he's stuck on the wrong side. He took damage, so he might end up going down. Uh -oh. Can they find the kill? He's actually taking oh, another damage from the side blades. Oh, great play. He and that is huge. On his way down. Bottom lane, though. Oh, J4. more. J4 caught again. Yapsor, he's going to finish this one off, it looks like. So they do find that kill. Broodmother going down, but so too will top lane Bambo. Mid one is able to find that kill. So kills just all over the map right now. Man, that, that was so close. Ace almost made it out. <laughs> he was yeah. actually starting to walk down the hill and then... Uh, Gets side bladed again. And he just dies to that. Yeah, Kaiser's been having a really good game for himself on this TA, and currently leading in terms of net worth across the lanes. Um, Bambo thirteen and two. He hasn't been able to find the most farm in the world, but does have a level five. So there's a chance that you know, with a rotation up there in a little while, they could pine a kill onto mid one once he gets that chronosphere. It's, it's hard because. The only way they're going to have enough damage is if uh, Venomancer hits 6 and TP's up there with ulti, or TA is there on the edge to hit Puck. Otherwise, there's really not much damage coming out of 
Hellraisers. Cause, yeah. yeah, Ancient Apparition not being six yet. It's just no real chrono follow up. Look at these guys. They're all wrapped around right now. 3-3. Three, three. Going to try and get himself a perimeter of wards to stay alive here. Giving vision. Again, Ace is going to run in. Kaiser's taking a lot of damage there. Just blowing oh all the hell. Goodness. Well, that's a medallion. And Orb of Venom. Easy peasy for the Broodmother. I was like starting to think that with the sentry wards here and TA having a bit of levels that she would be okay against this Broodmother, but clearly not. And oh, he's going to be stealing the stacks as well. Well, Bambo's coming in. He does have a Chronosphere. He is going to get ran at as well and forced to time walk away. Man, they really need these Earth Shaker to get level 6. That can make all the difference in the world. Uh, Yapsor is here as well. God, if they could find a kill right now. Radiant, I think that they saw Yapsor move over, so they know that he's in this little grove of trees here. Do they know about Puppy, though? Well, Fissure was used, though. Yeah. They're going to call it off. I think it's a little too dangerous. I think uh, they're kind of afraid of where Void might be. They do see him now, though, so. Yeah. A check in Roshan. Hmm. Well, meanwhile, DK Phobos, they're moving in. They want to try and take down 3 3. He does have a TP available to him, but I don't know if they're going to end up being able to catch him. Just outside of range. Bambo. Oh, it does he look for the Chronosphere? They're actually just going to end up popping the Brew ulti. And 3 3 is maybe going to end up dying because of this. He has the stick charge as well. The Chronosphere laid down on top of him. So they are still doing the DOT coming in from that Fire Panda, and it's going to end up being Hellraisers losing 3 3. Mid one shows up to this one as well. Bambo's Chronosphere is on cooldown and well can time dilate and run away. But Secret brought more members to the party. I wonder if he would have thrown the Chronosphere right there if maybe they could have saved the Venom's life. I don't know. It's it's hard because Venomancer was so close to all of them, it's not easy to aim the Chronosphere like that. But yeah. even I mean the biggest issue is that there's just there's still no follow up for the Chronosphere. Yeah. Venomancer is level six, but he does not have the uh, the ultimate. So even if he throws out the chrono, I mean, you saw what happened, right? It yeah. was such a weird position as well. So he just starts right clicking Clockwork, and Clockwork took like 150 damage, and that that was it. That was all the damage that was dealt in one chrono. 150 damage. Yeah. It's like very very not good. <laughs> um, Kaiser still falling off a little bit in terms of farm relative to this Brood Mother, who's they found Bambo about down bottom. Oh no. All right, Bambo's down, Bambo down, and maybe Tower going to be down too. They've got a catapult here with this one as well. Brew has a bassy, but it looks like Phobos is going to decide to farm out uh, these large creeps before coming to lane to get that extra armor, and the tower is down in the mid lane. Well, secret, 6,000 gold lead at 10 minutes in. It's not looking great for Hellraisers. Why does, why does it feel like they get to do this every single game? <laughs> <laughs> like every game we have casted for secret, apart from one game, they have had this enormous lead in the laning phase. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know where Bambo's going either. He's just like, creeps, get away from the tower. He wanted to kill off the catapult. He's taking them somewhere. He's going on a magical journey. He's it's going to the dire base. <laughs> such a Bambo thing to do. <laughs> Space created. Uh, they kill Puppy Top at least. Milan is pump faking the. Okay, they're gonna kill him off. Milan finds it at the end. <laughs> Are you okay, Steven? I know, I'm fine. All right. I just think it's funny. I mean, it, I guess in this space, like they kind of had a. He had two people down at bottom, so that Dyer don't exactly have the easiest way of uh, reinforcing. But mid one's right behind. Two-man coil, gonna hit that split. Oh, now they've got it. There's the catch. Damage on to 3-3. Three, three. Does have ulti, but not letting it go as of yet. Looks like he is gonna end up falling in the end, though. DK Phobos, double kill for him with that split. And now, Brew, gonna probably take down this tower. Brood. Yeah, Brood, not Brew. <laughs> He just picked up that Vlad's as well. Vlad's going to be a very 
strong pickup here this early on in the game. Mm -hmm. Making that Broodmother that much stronger. Oh, so Milan. Finish. Oh, that goat! <laughs> that was a lot of damage. Can they kill off Ace, though? Ace, is he gonna get away? Poison Nova's down. They got him. They got him. Do you see how many numbers popped up with that Echo Slam? Yeah, he uh, he got some gold for himself. Feels Milan, good. Milan's a happy guy. You echo that every time, right? I would, yeah, for sure. I mean, the good part is he managed to get damage on Ace as well with that echo. Yeah. I was just like slowly building up right there. This uh, void set, when he like turns his head, it looks like his head is chopped off. Oh, mid lane. I got Look him. The Fiend's Grip as well as the Coil. It's been a rough game for him so far. Been uh, a lot of attention paid towards that faceless void. They take the tower bottom. Wait, does Yapsor have a plate mail coming out? He does. Or sorry, not plate mail, blade mail. Yapsor has earn and blade mail at 13 minutes. They give him so much farm priority and... I mean, he's ahead Yapsor. of the safe lane. Yeah. Yapsor, hey. as a four position clock, has more farm than almost every Radiant hero apart from the TA. Yeah. It's pretty nuts. Um, and it's 7,000 net worth lead at 14 minutes in. There's maybe a chance that they could, like... Uh, I mean, the thing about it that's so tough is you look at the way that Secret is spread out across the map. They're, like, all farming different areas. But because of how scared they all are, Hellraisers have all five, like, right up here in this one side. And they're not going to catch mid one either. Scan? <clears throat> maybe. All right. Mid one. They're throwing these down. Bambo looking for an opening. Are they going to be able to get him? He's still over there, but they don't see him. <laughs> uh, this is too hard to go for. Yeah. If you can't hit the ward, it's it's not going to happen. That would have been such a big kill, but unfortunately, they don't manage to find it. and It's quite a bit of time wasted. Like Committing yeah. three heroes to hope for a kill like that. I mean, look at this bottom lane. Brewmaster just hitting away. He's already at, like, below half health. And like you said, mm -hmm. Secret just much more efficient around the map. They're building up on their lead, 7k in 15 minutes. That's not quite their usual speed, but I mean, that's pretty insane anyways. And the thing that's odd about this is it feels like, you know, Seeker can run around and do whatever they want, but it's actually pretty good vision for the Dire. Puppy is going to get the Nightmare there onto one, but he will eventually get that taken off by the Ancient Apparition. The Ice Blast connected and Kaiser found the kill. All right, that helps a lot. Yeah. Don't have to worry about one of your cores getting gripped out of nowhere. Oak. Maybe the Radiant looking to find somebody here. Did they end up having vision of that smoke? It doesn't look like it. They're going down bottom right now. And if they could get Phobos and Yapsor, man, this would be a big chrono. Oh, it's just barely off the mark. They're not going to see him. They will spot them now, and they're still looking. Oh, they want to chrono them so badly. All right, this might be it. Milan, yeah, they reveal themselves. No, no, oh, they see Milan now. Okay, Fissure down. Jump forward, chrono onto one. Do they have the follow-up? They have the damage. Oh, but the hook shot, the oh, turnaround. He pushes back three with the okay, cogs. Still That's still super good because now you got Ace running in. He's going to clean up Kaiser most likely. Can they finish it off? That's a big old gale, though, coming through onto oh, the spiders. And live. barely, Kaiser's going to walk away. 10 Did HP, 3-3, three, three, making the play. Ace is also there as well. He's got caught. And they're going to be able to maybe bring him down mid one, wanting to finish it off. He does take down that Earthshaker. Oh, Man, that cog's so pushback. Low. And they're not going to be able to finish it off. they got to stop there. That cog's pushback, though. <laughs> Still, all things considered, that was... Uh... Pretty good victory for Hellraisers. They are yeah. behind quite a bit, still managed to trade uh, for a Clockwork as well as a Panda. But unfortunately for them, they did commit quite a bit to it. So Team Secret is going to go straight into Roshan with this. Yeah. Definitely the right play. The Ice Blast is going to hit. Um, and they might come and try and contest. You do have Deso and Blink on TA. 
Kaiser is not to be trifled with. They used the Veno ulti in the last fight, but they do have four staff here on 3-3 as he's going to get close to walking in. They don't have vision, the best of vision at the very least. Kaiser walks forward. They pop the split as well and now silenced. Earthshaker, nothing to throw out there. He does finally get the fissure off and now going to try and run away, but the coil snaps and that's going to be the kill. Oh, now mid one right one. away. They've caught themselves the TA, four staff away and is still going to be pulled up and taken down as... Well, a sleep save there for mid one. Roche wasn't able to find that kill. 3-3 three, three, throws out another Venogale, but it's not going to be enough. He dies, and so too will Bambo. As Puppy chases, has you himself a fiend script. They're going to hold on to it. And Aegis is going the way of secret. Big win in the river. I'm so surprised that Hellraiser's committed to that. That that was such a difficult, difficult fight to take. You have to assume that secret have, uh, have already set up vision and... Not having Chronosphere, not having the Venomancer ulti, or even the Echo, Echo Slam. They they don't really have anything yeah. to take that fight with. Oh, and it looked for a moment like maybe they could, you know, it, with the Fissure and the TA there, or, or possibly if they blew up the Brew right at the start of it, but it was just not going to happen. And DK Phobos is going to have his Blink now. So even easier initiations and ways to control this TA. She's going for a Hurricane Pike. Do you think like PKB is necessary or is that uh, too defensive? She needs a lot of things. I think that Hurricane Pike is pretty important in this game. I mean, whenever you're playing against a Clockwork, you should definitely prioritize four staffs on a lot of your heroes. But I mean, it's like you said, it, she needs BKB as well, for sure. If you don't have BKB against a Brewmaster, chances are you're just going to get Cyclone or you'll get slept or grip. I mean, even with BKB, you'll still get gripped, but at least uh, with BKB, you you won't get focused down if you do get disabled like that. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Uh, and I'm, I'm sort of just like catching up and looking at these net worths across the Radiant team. And uh, Bambo has certainly struggled this game as far as getting the farm on. You mentioned that that might be an issue for him just based on his play style. I don't know, it's it's looking like it's been tough. Radiant's bottom tower has been denied. I mean, to be fair, like, if you think about it, his mentality isn't really wrong this game. Yeah. They're so far behind that sitting back and farming is not going to win you a game, for sure. Right. Yeah. Unfortunately for them, it wasn't executed uh, top tower well enough for them to come back Radiant's from. And Ooh. Ooh. Well, he's going to tank the gank for the TA, but it will certainly... Be a kill oh, as they as well. use the grip and well j4 is going to be able to get out as well as kaiser um yeah it's a tough one this is a real tough one so 20 minutes in 8 to 16 what's the way that hellraisers do find a way back into this game because you mentioned that they're not going to be able to just farm their way out of it is it just like hitting a big echo when uh, you know, Earthshaker sees an opportunity here. Uh, it's gonna need. It's gonna be off the back of quite a few things. Uh, being able to hit a big echo is one way. You know, you have the, the blink dagger. If secret, for some unknown reason, secret decide to group up for that big echo, then <laughs> that is one way. I don't really yeah. see it happening. They've been doing a very good job in just keeping their distance from each other. They never really get caught up like that. Yeah. Uh, alternatively. You know, Venomancer does have that veil, so a big Chronosphere can still turn things around. Mm -hmm. If you veil or yeah, you veil and you poison Nova, it's it's gonna be quite a bit of damage, especially since Ancient Apparition has max ice vortex and can throw an ice blast into Chronosphere. Right. Yeah, find himself a couple kills. Mid one and DK Phobos gonna take down that tower. Actually it is Cardi that got that one. But they do still have great high ground offenses. You mentioned Chronosphere, Ancient Apparition, obviously, and then all of the wonderful things that Venomancer brings to the game of Dota 2 that we all love to see. But the ways to get back into it are feeling like... It just feels like Secret are going to sort of slowly build into that next tier of items while Hellraisers are trying to get into their like first core ones. And I don't know, I... I the, the damage is lacking. Yeah, it's <clears throat> it's gonna come off the back of you know misplays from from secret if they need an, if they want the damage. I mean, T TA does have a bit of damage since it is a TA, but 
She can't do it on her own. This yeah. is just extremely reliant on the. Oh uh, no! Oh no! Don't worry, nobody saw. It. It's okay. Uh, there may or may not have been an echo slam. Uh, it happens. <laughs> yeah. The other thing that I've noticed with Ace on his brood mother, he keeps on getting these illusion runes and then just like running around and having radiant illusions everywhere. Speaking of which, he's going into a manta style. And Perfect. Extra damage for the echo slam. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Grand plan. I don't know if Secret saw that there was no echo. I'm not positive. Uh oh. TA. That's bad. That's really, really bad. And Kaiser's dead, and well, now they get the lift up onto the Ancient Apparition. Ace is just running forward into 3-3's face, but they get the Fissure down. That gets the block off, and so these spiders are going to be uh, most likely going down, or just turning onto the tower now, and uh, there isn't really an answer. No Echo Slam for 80 seconds. Aegis does expire. Something to be concerned about. Bambo will tank the Nightmare as well. They have Chrono still, and Venno ulti if they wanted to use it. And with that, Secret are going to back out, take the rest of the Tier 2s, and then probably think about going high ground later on. That lead is continuously getting larger and larger. Their only hope is dead right now. No one actually really <laughs> has too much farm. I mean, this is... This is going to look... Struggle is real. Yeah. Offlane Void is a low bane in net worth. Yeah. That'll happen. He does have 17 stick charges. So, that's, that's a thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling. I'm trying to figure out where to go with this. <laughs> 17 stick charges. Literally killable. Alright, they're smoking up. They're, they're tired of waiting around. Any kill would be nice here, just like anything. As long as they don't have to commit four ultimates for a Bane, I think they'll be okay with it. Okay. Um... Mid one's game sense too good. He's yeah, he's away. just back. He knows. Like, the, the lanes are pushing into the tower right now. These ones, there's a lot of farm up here. I see that nobody's coming. He's just like, yeah, I'm gonna hang out by my tower. And well, Secret just continuously farming up efficiently. There's, they don't actually mind waiting. Yeah. I mean, there's only so many ways to say it at the end of the day. You got the Yapsor who's got a pipe. And they're, they're very far ahead. There's not a whole lot that Hellraisers have to do. It's like you sort of have to wait until there's a misplay. And, well, they're bringing five heroes to go gank this Bane. Even if they connect on the Bane, which they're not going to, look at the farming around the rest of the map. Like, Ace has taken out this hard camp. Mid one's able to push down bottom. They're getting experience and gold. Like, uh, there hasn't been a kill since, what is that, probably like four minutes ago, and it's been another almost 5,000 net worth swing just by virtue of passive farming. Well, we're going to have to wait around still. Not many yeah. options for Hellraiser. Oh, oh, oh next? Yeah, that was pretty nuts. In the middle of the time walk, but thankfully the force staff was there to save a life. Okay, they've got themselves one, but the counterplay comes, and Bambo does have a chrono, but he's going to get lifted. They take oh, down Milan. Oh, get no. Get into grip. Oh, God, run away. Run away. Bambo drops the chrono. Okay, maybe a turnaround. Possibly. No, they lift up the TA. They've got her. 3-3. Three, three, they want it, but it's not going to happen. They have the grip on Bambo. He's going down. Kaiser pops the BKB, turns the fight. Is it going to end up working out? 3-3 three, three, popped the ultimate as well, but Ace is chasing, and now it's got him caught. TA trying desperately to make this work, but there's going to be the coil down. Buyback on the Earthshaker. Buyback on the Venom. They do have Echo. Trying to TP in and make the play happen, but as soon as those buyback came, they run away. Oh, J4 found, killed off DK one. Bobos. Still has the ulti as well. Okay. 
And it looks like that's but, gonna be it. Yeah. Ooh. That, that was actually super impressive. For the first time ever, I have seen a Chronosphere that was followed up with zero damage. It was actually zero damage. Void was gripped. <laughs> TA was, cyc was Cyclone. So not a single person was able to hit in that Chronosphere. Yeah, I was like getting excited. I was like, maybe something's going to happen. No, no, nothing's going to happen. It's just so hard. Like... The heroes that Secret have counter that perfectly. It's not like they have a ton of damage to build into it in the first place. Well, I mean, I think the thing that's more important to note is that they are behind by 20,000 gold, so... Yeah, that's true. The game is never easy when you're behind by 20,000 gold. In fact, game. usually that's the uh, amount of gold it takes to just end the game. So I'm kind of surprised that Hellraisers are still in it with this kind of a lead on, on Secret side. Yeah. It just kind of shows you just how how patient Secret are. The uh, the no no throwing mentality. And their games have looked really good for a while now. Um, that was Puck just, I think... I, didn't, I, I can't tell if they were trying to go on him or not. It doesn't look like they used any abilities, so uh, Puck, I think, just got out of there. Oh man. Finishes up the Shivas as well. Blink Yules and Shivas. For uh, the puck, yeah. Level 17 as well. And they're going to be able to finish off this Roshan. Well, if there wasn't already a, a big problem here, they don't quite spot out no, Milan. Walking in, Echo as well. Can they get it? The damage, it might be there. Ancient Apparition Blast, all of it comes out, but Milan, he's going to die. The BKB was there. They don't kill off anybody. Oh, no, no, no. That is going to be the game. They call good game. They're done. They've had enough. It's over. That was like the most impossible Chronosphere to hit. He was, he just had to walk up. He wasn't even in, like, next to his team. They had no smoke. Puppy saw him from, like, 